Universal Studios Japan has revealed its new land at Super Nintendo World Donkey Kong Country and we're going to see some snippets and some major surprises here including a little bit of the ride as well with Shigeru Miyamoto giving us a tour here the creator of Super Mario, Donkey Kong and other classic Nintendo characters. Alright so he's going to take us to the new land. We're going through this tunnel which transforms into this jungle rock work tunnel here. You hear the drums? That looks amazing. I need to play the game. I haven't played the game as much as I wanted to, but I need to play the game to get familiar with a lot of this. But even then, a lot of this is iconic. So this is going to be a mini game here. You're going to have cast members receiving people here and they and it's going to be like a three group thing. And they're going to basically do something here where they're going to play the drums. To get that Rhino Rambi out. And uh, I didn't show it here but it looks like the drums, they light up. So that's really cool. They're integrating they're integrating more mini games into this new land. Okay, so there's two new power-up bands here for Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong added to the whole setup and collection of the power-up bands that are already available at Japan and Super Nintendo World Hollywood and soon to be Epic Universe as well. Little shake stand with banana flavor drinks and shakes and look at that wow and it comes with the with the barrel cup right there oh wow so this this food is probably going to look a little different here at, in the u.s at epic universe but you can tell that they're going very creative on it was Donkey Kong's house and this is the moment when I when I saw this when I was like wow they really went all out here and here you go we have Mario Luigi and Peach and Toad at the regular Super Nintendo land and then now we have Donkey Kong here this looks amazing we probably will get Diddy Kong later on so this is something else how they're pulling this off with this with this suit there's probably some kind of automated stuff in there as well so let's see what what else is next so it looks like he shows us this is going to be the gift shop flying and by funkies fly and by oh let's go back a little bit to see some of the merch Got some plushies, some headbands, all your merch that you want themed to Donkey Kong. And then he's going to show us a bit of the ride. This is the front of the temple for this theme ride. And he sees Donkey Kong has been traversing this temple. Oh, nice. So that's so you can get coins on the ride. Everything is gold plated. Worshipping the banana. Some classic Donkey Kong stuff here. Cranky Kong and Squawks. Look at that. You're going to have animatronics on the queue, which is really, really cool. You know, I wish they had animatronics in the Super... in the Mario Kart queue. So, really impressive stuff so far. And he hasn't even gone into the ride. It's so much amazing, impressive stuff. And we're barely getting to the ride, which is the most impressive part of it all. So we're going to see a little bit of it here 
a little bit of a POV. Unfortunately, it looks like we don't see the whole ride, but... If you see right here, I'll stop it for a bit. On the edge right here is where the real track is. This is a fake track. And it's going to continue like that throughout the whole ride. The actual track is on the right here side of the cart. And then you're going to go through this barrel, shoot through the barrel, and out to the ride. I guess they're trying to keep that a surprise. So they reveal at the end of the video that this is going to be open on December 11th at Universal Studios Japan's Super Nintendo World. Uh, the U.S. is going to get this land along with Super Nintendo World and everything at Epic Universe, Universal's Epic Universe, which opens next year, May 2025. Right now, all I can say is that Universal is really hitting it out of the park. They're really basically taking over the theme park industry in terms of creativity, innovation. In the meantime, Disney at Disney World wants to close Rivers of America, a classic Disney uh, uh, land and attraction. And they're doing things that just make no sense. They want to make their parks, their classic parks into more of a Six Flags type of thing. And Universal here and on the other side, they're doing these incredible theming lands that respect these franchises and IPs. So I'm definitely looking forward to I wish I could go to the opening of this uh, land in Japan. It's too close of a date. I was expecting this to have opened much earlier. They did delay the opening of this land, but it's not going to now we know it's going to open a month from now. And but either way, I'm going to have a chance to go to the one in Epic Universe because I will be there on opening date. On opening day, May 22nd of 2025, and that opening weekend, I will be there. And I will be bringing you lots of videos and coverage of that land, and possibly even live streams from Epic Universe and from Donkey Kong Country as well here at Epic Universe, the U.S. So stay tuned to that. Thank you again for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video. In the meantime, I'll see you guys later.